गाइस वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल दिस इज डॉक्टर सुप्रीता आई एम फाइनली हैप्पी टू टेल यू गाइस दैट माय फोर्थ ईयर रिजल्ट्स आर आउट एंड आई एम ऑफिशियली डॉक्टर सुप्रीता नाउ एंड आई एम गोना बी एंटरिंग इंटर्नशिप नेक्स्ट वीक प्रीटी एक्साइटिंग ये बट एनीवे कमिंग बैक टू टुडेस टॉपिक इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोना बी टॉकिंग टू यू गाइस अबाउट द बुक्स दैट यू नीड टू बाय फॉर फोर्थ ईयर एमबीबीएस सो विदाउट फर्दर अडो लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड so starting with pediatrics i think the only book that everybody recommends for pediatrics is op guy that is op guy essential pediatrics and i also use this book i must say this book is like really very wonderful for pediatrics because it is very very concise and to the point initially when you start reading this book you might feel like the amount of information that is given is not enough but trust me if you know everything that is given in this book it is more than enough but the thing here is that essence everything is given to the point it is very essential that you need to know everything that is given in this textbook so like each line is very very important but it's a really good book the standard textbook that they recommend for pediatrics is nelson i did not have the opportunity to open and read nelson because i felt opigai was good enough so you if you guys want to read a standard textbook nelson is the option for you guys and for practicals i was uh, using meherban singh this is good i will not say it is not good this is also very brief and concise to the point very nice but i actually shifted to aruchami in between because i felt like i was a little bit more comfortable with the way things have been explained in aruchami so you guys can try out both aruchami and meherban singh and see whatever is good for you so now that we're done with pediatrics let's go to obstetrics and gynecology for obs and gyne also i'm pretty sure uh, the only book that everybody recommends is datta datta is the best book that you will get for obg hands down trust me and by that i mean for both obs as well as gynecology i say this because a lot of people recommended shaws for me for gynecology shaws is good it's not bad but for me i feel like datta gynecology is way more detailed in explanation than shaws for gynecology so for both obs and gynecology i would recommend using only datta coming to the other uh, smaller subject that is present in fourth year is orthopedic so orthopedics everybody uses maheshwari i also just use maheshwari i wouldn't say this is more than enough actually because i wish i had a a little bit more substance to write my theory exams this is good this is fair enough and they actually don't expect you to know a lot in orthopedics because it is considered somewhat like a short subject in in mbbs right so they say maheshwari is enough most of the times it is enough you will actually not get time to read a lot in orthopedics anyway so yeah this is fine but i really felt like i could have used some other textbook to get a little bit more information to write things in my ortho paper but yeah maheshwari is enough now coming to the two other subjects that haunt us a lot with a lot of options that is medicine and surgery i say this because all the other subjects that i mentioned are like pretty straightforward there are not many books there are a few standard textbooks that you can use but when it comes to medicine there are two standard textbooks harrison and davidson and there are so many options for indian author textbooks like archit bulur is there and then we have uh, george matthews and kundu there are so many books so i'm going to tell you guys what i used and how i wish i had made better use so choosing between harrison and davidson i will any day go with harrison as a standard textbook because just listen to me guys i know a lot of people like reading davidson but i went through davidson and somehow i was not very convinced with the way things were explained in davidson i am much more comfortable with the way things are explained in harrison but the problem is harrison is a huge textbook and you will obviously not be able to read everything when you are in fourth year right but the diagrams in davidson are really really good so you might want to look at the diagrams and flow charts in davidson but if you ask me to choose a standard textbook i will always choose harrison 
over Davidson any day. Now coming to the Indian author textbooks, I know there are a lot of options available for medicine. Probably you guys should sit down and look at one chapter in each textbook and decide if that is something that you want to do. But if you want my recommendation, I will any day recommend Archit Bulur for you guys. I know some teachers watching this might get angry at me for recommending an exam preparatory manual. But trust me, Archit Bulur is good. It is literally like notes from Harrison. It is literally like somebody has sit down and read Harrison and made notes from it for students. So this literally contains everything concisely that is given in Harrison. So if you're not able to read Harrison and you read this textbook, you're well on your way to getting a very good score in the exam. But the thing is, if you start reading Harrison or uh, even Archit Bulur without any background knowledge, it's going to be very, very difficult. Because let me show you guys, a lot of Archit Bulur and Harrison is filled with things like flowcharts like this. Okay, a lot of flowcharts, a lot of tables. So if you just open this textbook and start reading, you're going to feel like there is a lot to just by heart. There is a lot to just memorize and things like that but that is not the case what i would recommend and what i did for medicine is i always used to watch videos before i started any topic i was struggling with medicine a lot initially because i did not know how to approach the topic at all because just initially only i sat down with these textbooks i started reading everything was just tables flowcharts and i was not understanding any concept right so i did not know how to approach the topic but I ended up scoring very well in medicine. That is something that I'm actually very proud of. I will probably make a video in the future if you guys want about how I studied medicine. But let me tell you guys in briefly, my approach to study medicine well was always to watch videos before I started reading the textbook. Because if you just go and read the textbook straight up, you will not understand stuff, you know. Medicine is a little bit of... Um, a topic which requires a lot of critical thinking and it is something that we are not exposed to until we enter fourth year. If you guys want to watch uh, YouTube videos, there's a channel called AETCM, Emergency Medicine Channel. Wonderful videos, amazing explanation. So if you just look at those videos and then come and read, it's going to be very, very useful. When it comes to practicals, I was using Hutchinson and also Achit Bulur. So I was using Hutchinson actually when I was in second and third year. So we had medicine postings in second and third year. So during that time I was reading Hutchinson. But um, when I came to fourth year, I started using Archit Bulur practical um, book. Both of them are good. If you guys ask me to recommend a book, then I would recommend Archit Bulur in fourth year actually. Because Hutchinson is a very good book to read when you're in second and third year because you will have time but when you come to fourth year if you really want to know the precise things you know if you want to know the answer to your viva questions then i think archit bulur is better because it is way more exam oriented and then when it comes to surgery i used srb srb textbook of surgery and i also used bailey i don't know where i kept my bailey <coughs> oh it's here wait look at my bailey so it's actually an old version this is my cousins or my friends i forgot i'm sorry yeah so yeah this is my bailey this is an old version so it's not two books it's just one big fat book enjoyed reading from bailey uh, but again the thing is bailey is a textbook which is enjoyable to read it is easy to read you know people say oh bailey is difficult to read in my opinion bailey is easy to read and it has very simple language. You can read it very easily. But the problem is when you have to write an exam, it is very difficult to retain whatever you have read from Bailey and reproduce it in the exam. And during that time, SRB is going to be useful. SRB is going to save you for exams because everything is given point wise. If you're really, really interested, 
go ahead and read bailey it is not difficult to read bailey you just have to be able to manage time a little because you will have to go through srb or any other indian author textbook for you to be able to write an exam because whatever you read from bailey is going to be very volatile it's like reading from guyton and kenong you know they're all beautiful books to read but you will not remember things to write in an exam because they are like stories okay i really feel like reading bailey is like reading a story book you just get lost in it you just you you'll just love reading it but you'll not be able to write anything in the exam so for the exam i would suggest srb the only thing that i'm sort of wishing that was different in srb is diagrams i wish there were a lot more uh, written diagrams that were given here because a lot of them are real diagrams which are nice but when i have to write the exam it is a little difficult if there are no written diagrams and it comes to um practical surgery uh, i had got an srb clinical methods like free with the srb uh, textbook but i prefer das because das has both uh, orthopedics as well as uh, uh, surgery i think this also has it I'm not sure. I think this also has it. Yeah, but I prefer Das. So I had a PDF of Das for practicals, and that is what I used. And there's you can also use a PDF of uh, Long and Short Cases in Surgery. That's also a very good book. And yeah, so these are all the books that you can use for fourth year MBBS. If there are any doubts, you guys please let me know in the comment section below. And I'm thinking of making a series about how to study for each individual subject. in third year and fourth year uh let me know if you guys are interested thank you so much for watching have a nice day